Today I'm going to be making this Palak Paneer, which pretty much means spinach paneer or spinach cheese in Hindi. Oh yeah. Just a disclaimer though, this isn't intended on being like some kind of authentic version. This is kind of like just my rendition or my take on Palak Paneer. Which, I mean, to be fair, I do follow most of the rules. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, before we start, here's all my ingredients. I have everything ready to go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is bring uh, some water to a boil in a big pot, and then you grab that spinach and throw it in there. And I did uh, salt this ahead of time, the water. All right, so you just let that kind of cook and make sure you don't cover it because if you cover it, it's supposed to kind of like lose color and you want this to be green. You don't want it to be like brownish green or whatever. So yeah, in 30 seconds, I will take this out and I have a water ice bath. All right, so I got my uh, ice bath right there and it's been like 30 seconds now, so I'm going to transfer this over just pretty much all right so now that the spinach has cooled i'm just gonna put it in the blender and mix that up all right now that this is all blended i'm just gonna leave it in in the blender until i'm ready to use it don't mind my pot it's like a little stain but it's totally fine about a tablespoon of oil whatever oil you have people prefer to use ghee but if you don't have ghee then just use whatever you have doesn't matter it's not that not that serious yeah my audio started messing up so i am gonna add this uh after during the video editing so after you add the about the tablespoon of uh oil you want to add the hing which is also known as asafoetida and you want to add the cumin seeds and you want to cook them for a few seconds you know just let them crackle and sizzle for a little bit uh, you don't want to burn them. It's really important you don't burn them. And I think the asafoetida is really important for uh, a lot of, for this recipe. Um, you could get it in your, if you have an Indian store. If you don't, then it might be a little hard to find. Maybe you could find it online if you live in the States. But yeah, definitely Indian stores. And then after that, you want to add the onions and you want to cook them for two to five, two to five minutes. You want to get them like translucent, but to be honest, like this step isn't like that serious. You could just get away with cooking them for a couple minutes. You'll be fine. But for me, since my pot isn't the best, it start it begins to stick after it's been cooked for a few minutes. So uh, a good trick that I use is I uh, just add some water and it prevents it from sticking and burning. So yeah, definitely consider adding water. Um, if you have a really nice pot, you probably don't have to worry about that, but, you know, you gotta do what you have. You don't have to have, like, the fancy setup. So, you just kind of, like, cook the onions a bit until they're about ready. And once the onions are about done, you want to add the garlic and, uh, ginger in there. Just like that. You don't really have to cook the garlic for too long, just enough. So yeah, we'll come back once that's ready, just like a minute or so. I almost forgot about the jalapenos. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen, I don't really see people add jalapenos to their palate in here. But you know, I have them, so might as well just use them. Jalapenos are good. Alright, let that cook for a bit. Alright, now that it's pretty much ready, I'm going to add the spice mix. Uh, this is the masala, basically. Masala means spice mix. Just add that. And, um... So, a good tip that I could recommend is, you don't want your spices to burn necessarily, so just add a little bit more water. Just let that cook for a bit. Just like that. All 
And once the water reduces, I'm gonna add my beautiful green green stuff. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach in there. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna put water in here to rinse it off. And add some more. Bloop. There you go. Mix, whoops. It's okay, mistakes happen. It's part of cooking. So now you just kind of like mix this up and bring it to a simmer. I should have cooked the paneer ahead of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because I'm just gonna leave this on like medium to low heat just to let it cook for a little bit while I uh, finish the paneer, which is right here. I'm just gonna like chop it up into small uh, chunks. So cooking the paneer is really just an optional step. Not not everyone does that. So because I have a lot more paneer than I do space on this pan, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this and this paneer. I'm just gonna grab it and throw it right in there. I figure it's gonna you know I don't know speed things up a little bit and also like give some texture, right? So let's just do that. All right, so now uh, once you have like enough brown on the paneer, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Now that this is almost done, the final step uh, would be, oh, by the way, I added more water onto the sauce just so it's not like so thick, uh, but I, I will reduce it down so the final product isn't be thick. So I got garam masala and a, like a pretty big teaspoon of salt. So um, be careful with the salt. Uh, you could add more afterwards, but you can never uh, take away salt once you put it in. So I'd recommend, rule of thumb, do about a teaspoon and then, you know, put add more from there. But this should be uh, good enough for now. And I'll just go ahead and taste it. And then also the last step would be uh, some cream. I usually don't like to add cream because I like the really green color, but um, to be honest, like I think the cream does add like a little better uh, color and texture. So I usually skip the cream, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some cream. How much? I have no idea. Just just enough, you know, just a little bit, just enough so that it changes the consist the color a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. should be good so now what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna like let it simmer for a while so that the sauce could get a little bit thicker I shouldn't have added like all the water I added like a little bit of water but it, it made a big difference in the texture so now all you, all you all you could do really is reduce it down and it'll be ready in about 15 to 20 minutes Okay, uh, by this point you should really give it a ta taste test, just in case you need to add more salt or if you need something else. So I already, I already gave it a try and it was, it's like really good. And I actually really do like the cream. The cream does, does change the flavor a little bit and yeah, surprisingly it's pretty good. I have never put cream on my Pollock Paneer, but I don't know, it's, it's okay, it's pretty good. So now, like I said, you just like let it simmer until it thickens up a little bit. Uncovered. All right, check it out. That's almost ready. Uh, one important thing is you want to be mixing it every few minutes. And, you know, my setting is on low because if you have it too high, it's definitely going to burn at the bottom and it's going to stick. So make sure you're like constantly coming in and mixing it. And that uh, it bubbles up. You see how it's bubbling? Yeah, it's like bubbling just slightly because, yeah, it's gonna burn otherwise. Alright, well, this is almost done, so uh, it, ju it just needs like another like five, maybe ten minutes at most, and it should be all done.
All right, so it's been about 30 minutes of cooking and I would say this is done. You can see it's like pretty thick. It's still watery and that's kind of, I mean, it's up to you how thick you want it, but as it cools, it will thicken up some more. So I'd say this is about perfect. Turning that off. Done. All right. So that's the finished product right there. Uh, I served it on top of some plain white rice in a bowl. And the last thing I'm gonna do is add a squirt of lime, just like that. And I guess I need to do a mandatory taste test. Hmm. Pretty damn good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And hopefully I could make some more videos soon. See you later.